<sighs> What's up everybody? It's Jacob with J&J &J Engraves. Um, had a customer that messaged me today. They needed me to um, engrave 12 copper plated steel cuffs. Now normally this is a job that would be perfect for a fiber laser. I run a CO2 laser. It was kind of an iffy thing, but she had already been through three people. They said they couldn't help her. I've done, I've done some metal stuff before with some success, so I decided to give it a shot. And uh, I think I came up with a method that worked. I was going to uh, do a quick little tutorial on what I'm doing and um, share it with you guys. If you have any, uh, if you have, uh, you know, any suggestions or anything that you think would make this uh, this process better, then feel free to leave them in the comments below. But uh, I see a lot of people. A big problem I have is that I bought a CO2 machine <laughs> laser and like I would say 75% of the customers want to engrave metal and that's not a joke like it's always metal so if you can find a way to pick up some of those jobs it'll open up more opportunities for you down the road and uh, you'll also be able to do something your competitors can't and I'm finding that a lot of people that run CO2s don't know a lot about engraving on metal neither do I but I feel like I'm on the right track here um, so one thing you'll need a lot of people do like this stuff called I mean they buy like this gunk from Home Depot and I think it's called like Molly something or another I, I forget that sounds like a drug to me but um, I I use this stuff here. it's called Enduromark and I'm not sponsored or anything if they would like to sponsor me I would love <laughs> I will gladly sponsor them but uh this is laser marking spray for metal so essentially what you're going to do with this stuff is spray it on the metal surface and you're going to engrave over it what it does is it's some kind of i forget the types of metal it uses but it's like a powdered metal coating that's going to go over the metal and when the laser beam hits it it's going to make your laser burn hotter so you'll actually be able to get a good marking on the metal instead of just etching the metal so uh Again, this stuff's in Duramark. I'm using black. Now, they've got different kinds. I think they got like a blue and they've got different colors and, and stuff like that. But I like a good black, dark engraving. So I went with that stuff. Um, and here in a second, I'm going to start a cup and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing to get my results. All right, so this is the cup that I'm having to do. These are pretty common. Now, it's got a handle, so that's something you got to be aware of whenever you're engraving. You don't want that flipping up and hitting your nozzle, so make sure you've got all your rotary settings set up right. But this is the culprit here. This is the guy. This is the one that nobody could engrave, and uh, we're going to do this bad boy up today, and I'm going to show you how. So when you're applying this stuff, you really want to just do a thin coat. My, my buddy says to be uh, liberal with it and spray it on pretty thick, but I find that it's pretty useless. Um, the, the method I'm going to do is I'm going to go and do a thin coat of it. I'm going to engrave, and then I'm going to go and do another thin coat and engrave over top of that. That seems to be the method that's working best for me. I would love to get it down to one pass where I don't have to use as much of this, but um, right now that's the only method I'm getting that's working. But a little playing around, a little practice, I might get it down to one pass. That's the goal, but this is how I'm doing it. I'm going to put this stuff on here and we're going to show you my settings and then uh, I'm going to let it roll and we'll see what it looks like when it's done. Alright guys, so that is the cup after it's sprayed with the coating. I'm doing it in the rotor. I'm covering this up with a cloth so it doesn't get any of the stuff over the important parts. And then after I'm done, I'm going to wipe everything down to make sure that none of that stuff stays on. But uh, for a cup, I find that it's kind of hard to spray that stuff on evenly, so leaving it in the rotor is easier for me, but that's probably not the best way to do it. All right, everybody, here is what I have on light burn. I have mine set up. Uh, my rotor my rotor just hooks into the x-axis, so I don't have to do anything like enable rotor mode or anything like that to get mine to work, but that is my image, what I'm trying to do. And my settings right now, I'm at 40 speed and 65 power. That's probably a bit high, but I'm trying to make sure that I get that mark on there. I don't want to miss. I don't want any bad spots. I'm trying to get a good dark marking. And um, it's probably not the best if you've got a piece of metal that you're not, that you're trying to preserve and keep looking really well. But this is a cup, so it doesn't really matter what the other side of the metal looks like, just as long as that outside coat is engraved. I'm running this at a 375 dpi um, and 
let's see, we are doing shapes individually. So I'm filling each letter in individually. That way uh, it has enough time um, to really burn that letter in instead of it just passing over and, and flicking on and off. I want it to kind of stay on and really engrave that image in. But you can play around with it. I found that that was the best method for me. So we've got this bad boy in there. We're gonna go ahead and hit um, start and we're gonna get it going. So I'm going to hit start on my machine. Boop. And there it is, it's going. And uh, here in a few minutes, I will see you guys again and I'll show you how I'm gonna spray the second coat on. We're gonna do round number two. All right, you can see it's getting on there pretty good. Now I can about guarantee you that whenever I um, get a cloth and try to wipe that down, a lot of those portions will wipe away and be faded. So that's why I'm going over it twice to make sure that we really get it in there and that it's gonna survive and be a product that'll last a while for our customer. We don't want it washing off one time in the washing machine, anything like that. You really wanna to try to get that etched in there. So let's see, we got the June left to go and then I'm gonna spray the second coat on there very lightly. We're trying to preserve our spray. That stuff's pricey. Alright, so there it is. Let's move this nozzle out of the way. You can see, you can see some of the copper still popping through. You can really... So when I get a rag and wipe that down, that's gonna wipe those portions right off and it won't look as good as the way I'm about to do it. So I'm gonna take the spray, wherever I put it, there it is. Always shake this stuff up when you use it every single time and make sure you unclog that thing there. See how it's white? I did not do my job, so that might be clogged. You had to get an air compressor and blow that out if it is, so. All right, I'm going to spray. And I'm just lightly gonna go over it. Cause I don't wanna waste a lot of this stuff. You're just wanting to make sure you get the rest of that engraving nice and dark so you, the second round you don't have to go as thick on the uh, on the enduro mark I, I really go super light on that and you can see you're just gonna go exactly over what you did before and when I'm done I'll wipe it down I'll show you guys what we are getting at the end all right everyone this is the cup this is the engraving after it's been engraved I'm gonna wipe all that off and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it is finished. All right, guys. And there it is. That is the engraving. You can see I got a little hot in spots. Which I probably could turn down my power, go over it twice, and probably wouldn't have that issue. I could probably do it at about 50 power. But I really, I don't have a lot of cups to uh, make mistakes on. So I've gotta be pretty accurate with every one of them. The main thing is getting the saying on them so that the customer is uh, happy with the, with that. But uh, at the end of the day, that Endura Mark black, that stuff's amazing. Can definitely pick you up some business that you uh, otherwise wouldn't have got and maybe get you uh, loyal customers that your competitors couldn't help out because it doesn't seem like a lot of people are very good at doing this. So if you enjoyed it and if you learned something, let me know. Um, like and subscribe all that good stuff. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you next time.